Night empties the city streets. The crowds have gone home. The traffic is still. But through the darkness cut the headlamps of a car, an emergency ambulance speeding to a hospital. For while you sleep, another side of the city is wide awake. Men and women who dare not close their eyes. The oldest alarm in the world has gone out. A life is in danger. Outside in the street, human beings are shadows. But inside the hospital, the operating theatre is a blaze of light. This is the no man's land of a battle for life. While you lie in bed, a man will be lying on an operating table, sleeping the sleep of anaesthesia, unconscious of his part in the drama of surgeons and nurses intercepting a call from death. The surgeon is the general conducting the battle. X-rays are his maps of the enemy's forces and emplacements, the slender intelligence enabling him to plan his campaign. Assistants and nurses are his army, quiet, deft, unhurried. Over the patient, now immune to pain, drops the curtain of oblivion. His body is the battleground, and these are the surgeon's weapons, weapons against an enemy unseen. This is zero hour. Now the battle is on. Death, the opponent, has already begun the attack. He chooses his own time to strike, daylight or darkness, observing no hours. Night is his friend. The small hours when most men are off their guard, when human resistance is at its lowest ebb. And so this other world, within our world, exists, peopled by skilled men and women who wait through the darkness to meet the challenge whenever it comes. They fight in silence. More light needed, but the instruction from the surgeon never needs to be uttered. Nurses are the general's other eyes, watching the battle as he wages it, knowing in advance his strategy, anticipating his tactics. The battle reaches its critical stage. To live or to die. To see the sunshine again or remain forever in darkness. Even the surgeon knows that now the issue is out of his hands. He calls for a blood transfusion. Victory. But their faces show no sign of triumph. The presence of death has been too close for exultation now. Here in the theatre, the drama is done. Outside, Dawn is breaking. Life begins again. <laughs>